Hello and welcome to the Linux class. Today we're going to be covering the basics. We're going to start with the desktop. That is this thing that you see right here. Very important. Don't change the background until you memorize or write down but still have memorized. You are running the Skunkerific Fork of Linux Mint 1964 bit. It's important to know which operating system that your computer is running when you call for tech support. If you don't know what operating system you're running, it's much like calling up a Toyota dealer and saying, Hi, I bought a car from you. And they say, Which make and model? And you say, Whatever you sold me. It doesn't help. Second, this isn't Windows. It doesn't act like Windows. It looks like Windows, but some things are very, very different. It does not use files that end in .exe. And what that means is no software comes from CDs or downloads. All software comes from the software manager, which is right here. Just like your cell phone. You go to the Play Store or the App Store to get your programs. You go to the software manager to get programs here. Printers are our number one issue. If you buy them from us, we make sure that all printers that we sell are Linux compatible. It isn't a matter of compatibility, it's a matter of how hard the printer is to install. Some companies make it very easy to install printers. Other companies make it a nightmare. If you buy from somebody else and you ask us to install it, we'll charge you. If you buy it from us, our prices are very similar to what you'd pay at any big box store like Walmart, Best Buy, whatever. So buy them from us. Keep your computer updated. It's the only maintenance you have to do. If you see a blue circle with a white eye in the middle of the shield below, it's time to update. Here's the updater. Click. Click Install Updates. There are going to be other things that may pop up. Always answer in the affirmative. OK, forward, next, click. And then it's going to ask you for authentication. The password for your computer is 0000, zero, zero, zero four zeros. Then you click Authenticate. and it will download and install all of your updates. Unlike Windows, you install them all at once and it doesn't ask you where you're going to be putting your software. It knows where it goes. It knows how to update it. You don't have to read anything and you don't have to agree to anything. You simply click update, pop in your password, 0000, and you're essentially done. Make sure never, ever, ever to interrupt this process. If you do, it's going to be a phone call to tech support. If you need help, call us. Don't call friends. They're not paid to support you. Even if your friend is an IT professional, they are not familiar with this fork of Linux Mint. Also, you are imposing on them. You're asking them to work outside of their work hours. None of us really enjoy doing work, but we do it. Make sure you've checked with our Facebook page, facebook.com slash skunk repairs, first. Also, before you call for tech support, make sure that you are up to date. Going over the desktop, computer is much like the my computer on a Windows machine. You'll see your hard drive, you'll see your optical drive if you have one, and the file system, which is very simple. Just kidding. Fortunately you don't have to know about all that. What's important is the skunk's home. This is where all your stuff is. Location is home, skunk. Desktop, documents, downloads, music and movies, which is subdivided in movies, music, and TV shows, pictures, templates, and video projects. 
Notice on the public and music and movies this little share button. That means that if you are on the same network with another computer, you can read these files from anywhere on the network and play them, turning your computer into an audiovisual server. Trash is self explanatory. Network servers are other computers that are on the network. And you can see all the networks and all the computers. We'll get into the Opera Fix later.